Okay, family. I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasia, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. And I'm also the founder of such organization. I am in Galveston, Texas right now. And I'm doing a little planting in my backyard garden. Today it'll be in honor of my good brother, Mr. Baji, that live in the Gambia. He is our permaculture instructor, y'all. He is all for growing what you eat and eating what you grow, about healthy food, about being empowered to have food security. Y'all, you can have a long and healthy life. Long as the most high say the same. If you grow your good, healthy food, I'm gonna grow, uh, plant a little more mustard, as well as some okra seed, clumpsum, spine, and some red burgundy okra. Turn it around in a minute so you can see what I'm doing. But I just wanted to make sure that you could clearly hear what I had to say for a second. Mr. Baji is such a good and dedicated man. I am so glad that he was able to plant the trees in honor of each year that he was blessed to be alive. And I've planted many trees in the food forest. Hopefully I'll plant many more in honor of him as well. But today it'll be my seeds that I have available. I added some more soil to my raised garden bed. There was some hummus soil that I had in my garage, plus a little topsoil and a little organic fertilizer that was made for the raised garden bed. And y'all, if I'd have been in the Gambia, it would have been animal organic fertilizer or just the regular organic fertilizer that's made from the leaves and the grasses that we cut and turn over in the soil and let it dry. It becomes fertilizer for the future crops. I already had it, y'all, so it wasn't an added expense. It was something I had since I first started gardening. It just takes a while to use it up when you have a little small garden bed. So anyway, I'll turn this around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Guys, I already have the soil wet. And you never know if this seeds are gonna do anything. So when I put seeds down, I just put them there, y'all, and just see what'll happen. And just let them go. That's what I do. And then I just cover them up with soil. And that's it. As I said, that's all she wrote. And there, look like it might have a little bit more at the bottom. I think that's all, y'all. Y'all, I'm still looking at the little creature there. And I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I'm just going to draw a little line in the sand. And in the, in the dirt. And then I'm going to just distribute the okra right along that trail, y'all. And see what comes up. And do it again one more time. And then just loosely cover it up. And see what happens. That's all I did, y'all. Because sometimes you just have to try something new. And it either will grow or it's not going to grow. I'll water it again tomorrow. And then about, let me see how long it say it take before you can see something. 10 to 15 days to emerge. So. I'll keep checking 
and let y'all know what happens. But already done planted everything in honor of Mr. Baji. My mustards, then my two different kind of okra, clumps and spineless and red burgundy. And also got to enjoy my nosy rosy little lizard that came to keep me company. I love nature, y'all. Very interesting little creatures. So, I did weed this garden earlier this week. Looking way better. Look like I might have just a few little weeds I missed. And now he trying to get down some again. I don't know what he wants, y'all. But anyways, I'm just going around pulling weeds that are overlooked. And the soil is loose, y'all. So I just pretty much just pull them and toss. Just pull them and toss it. And it becomes fertilizer for the other land. And it eventually turns into soil too. But that's all you do when you're trying to clear it. You just pull it. That's all, because there's so many weeds around, y'all. You might just have to keep seeing them here and there. And then just take your time and just pull them up. There it goes. And look like I have just a few more over here. One more. And two, two more of the weeds. So I get to look at my okra that's still here and another okra. One day I'll plant enough okra while I'll be able to harvest them at the same time and get enough to cook. Well, Mr. Badger, I hope I help make another day to celebrate your life whenever you're watching this. You know I planted this with you in mind. You help motivate me to grow what I eat and eat what I grow. I hope you continue to have a wonderful and long and healthy life. And to everybody that's watching, I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day as well, wherever you are in the world. Enjoy nature. Just go out there and look for it, y'all. And until next time, what? Peace. Peace. Power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.